Hey, what's up, everybody? Isaac Okison here with Civil Engineering Academy coming at you live. I wanted to jump on real quick because we are having some di discussions surrounding the Civil Engineering FE exam. Um, we are pumped to help people pass that exam. I've talked a lot about the PE exam over the years. We are excited that we are launching a new course for this. And so we're coming out with some tips um, to definitely help those studying for the FE exam as we know that that is the first uh, exam really that you need to pass in order to become a professional engineer. So today I wanted to talk about the three most common myths that we hear when preparing to take the civil FE exam. Uh, one, the first common myth that we hear uh, over and over again is that you need a certain percentage to pass this exam. So in some standardized tests, you're basically penalized for every wrong answer that you make. So it's best to leave like questions unanswered so you don't get penalized for them. The FE exam doesn't follow this kind of procedure. So it, it's definitely not that way. So what you need to do is and understand is that the, F, the FE exam accounts for every right answer and it's adjusted to a scaled score. Um, this means that your score is basically adjusted based on what um, questions tested poorly across the board. And if there are a few questions that they decide to throw out, then the um, score is actually adjusted to your favor, which is a good thing. So you're going to want to basically, you want to answer everything. Put an answer on every question uh, that you have. Don't leave anything uh, unanswered. That's, that's what you need to do. Um, the NCES, because they do do this, um, they don't publish a score for you. And what they give you is basically a pass or a fail for the exam. And that's what you get. So um, what you do get, though, is if you, if you do fail, you, you'll get a diagnostic showing you the areas that you need to improve on. And so if you are a repeat taker, this is very helpful because you can go back and study in those areas that you are lacking. So um, most people tend to think though that you need somewhere between 60 to 70% in order to pass. Although, um, like I said, this is a myth that you have to get a certain percentage to pass. But the rule of thumb that most people are saying is between 60 to 70%. So if you are taking a practice exams, what you want to do and what you want to aim for is around 70% as you're taking those because that's going to give you the best chance of uh, passing the FE exam. So that is myth number one. Myth number two that we commonly hear is that you need to study this thing like it's basically a full-time job. And the reason why this is a common myth that we hear is because obviously the test can be very overwhelming. Uh, but the, the truth is, is that if you are in school, which most students are in school when they're preparing to take the FE exam, you really only need to put in probably two to three months of study time in order to pass the exam. So that is definitely not a full-time job and that's probably, and you only probably need to study a few hours each day as you're doing that. Um, if you're out of school, it's a different scenario. Um, you probably need to put in somewhere around four, four months, four to five months of study time in order to pass the exam because there's a lot of information the entire breadth of knowledge that you need to understand goes all the way back to your college days. And so you're going to have to uh, clear the cobwebs in the mind and try to uh, get a better understanding of what you need to understand and uh, in order to pass this. So um, anyway, that's a common myth is that you have to study for the FE exam like it's a full-time job. So that was myth, that's myth number two. Uh, the third myth is that you... Um, most people think, most civil engineers think that they don't have enough knowledge to take the exam and they end up postponing it, postponing it, postponing it, which uh, the truth is, is that obviously if you're in school, um, a lot of this is top of mind. And so what you need to be doing is, um, you know, don't register for the exam if you don't intend to study for the exam. But uh, it, it, there are certain problems, there's probably some certain topics that you haven't hit yet, maybe in school, but really you can cover those as you study for the exam. And if you're out of school and you're taking the FE exam, you obviously need to get in the habit of finding out um, maybe your weakest areas. Now this can all be remedied by taking a prep course for the FE exam. 
And so in order to get that percentage of 60 to 70% right, um, obviously a prep course I think is definitely going to help you. So uh, those are the three common myths that we hear. Uh, just to recap again, that's that um, the first one was that you have to get a certain percentage in order to pass. The second one is that you have to study for the FE exam like it's a full-time job. And the third one is that you don't think you know enough in order to take the exam. So don't let those things hold you back from taking the FE exam. Uh, one of the things we are excited to announce at Civil Engineering Academy is that we've, we've actually launched a review course for the FE exam. We've titled it the Ultimate Civil FE Review Course. It's pretty sweet. It covers all everything that's in the uh, NCES specifications. Uh, it comes with some awesome modules as we do uh, cover all of that. It comes with video practice problems. It comes with practice exams. And it comes with some amazing support. So all of that's for, there for you. Um, if you have any questions about it, um, you can definitely email me. But the, if you head to civilfereviewcourse.com, you can join that. Uh, we have an early bird special going on right now that actually ends this Friday at midnight. So if you are in the hunt for a review course, I encourage you to check that out. It's going to save you uh, up to $300 uh, on that. So uh, if you do miss the... Um, early bird special, you can definitely still get the course. It'll just be at regular pricing. But anyway, we're pumped to help people out with that. Uh, anyway, we are probably going to do a couple lives, uh, uh, YouTube lives, as well as jumping on Facebook as well. And we just want to get out information surrounding the FE exam as we try to help people on their journey to become professional engineers. So anyway, hopefully this help, uh, was helpful to you. Uh, if you're watching it now or you're watching it later, I would love to know in the comments what is your biggest struggle when preparing for the FE exam and maybe when you're going to take it. So those are good things to know, and we definitely want to help you. So anyway, thanks for hanging out, and uh, we will see you in the next one. See you around. Bye. And how do we end this? There we go.